Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I would like to share on things that I think I should have done and things that I'm so glad that I did in my 20s. So if you are in your 20s right now and you are interested to find out what is it about, keep on watching. I'm in my late 20s right now and there are a lot of things I wish I could know much earlier. The first thing that I want to share with everyone and to tell my 20 years old self will be Hey girl, just go and try as many things as possible before you settle or confirm that you are only good in one thing. I know for majority of us who are so fortunate to have our parents supported us for our tertiary studies, we thought that our lives are all planned out. The moment when we pen down our major on a piece of paper, we thought that we have got our future all figured out. The blueprint for most freshmen is to study well in the university, graduate with a decent grade so that you get to work in whatever career that you have chosen when you enroll into the school. Be it a doctor if you have chosen medicine, be it an engineer or a nurse. There is nothing wrong about it. But seriously guys, what if I tell you there are a lot of 30 years old or 40 years old adult out there still have no idea what they want in their life. They are double your age, they have way more experience than you do, yet they have no idea what they really want in life. When you ask them, they couldn't tell you clearly what they are going to do about their life. So, at your 20s, how can you be so sure that this is what you want in your life? Being a doctor, being an engineer for another 50 years down the road. I believe majority people don't. But they are either too afraid to admit it or they are trying always to convince themselves that this is the right path for them. For example, if your passion is to be a doctor, even with no pay, even with um, no acknowledgement from others, even if it costs you a lot of other things in life and yet you still want to be a doctor, by all means, go for it. Congratulations to you because you are the rare few percent populations that got your goal figured out in your 20s. But for those who don't, let me tell you, it is okay to admit to yourself and to the world that you have no idea what to do with your life. It's okay to not pretend to got it all figured out just because some of your peers do. You are still young and has nothing to lose. It is okay to expose yourself to as many things as possible to find out what you really like. If you have only played football in your entire life, how are you going to find out if you would prefer badminton, swimming or basketball more? You won't because you have not tried it. The second thing that I would like to talk to my 20 years old self is to be patient and trust the process. Be really really patient. In this era which everything is so fast paced, patient becomes such a rare gem. Everyone is looking for overnight success and fame and tend to give up easily within a short period of time if things don't go according to what they want. Tons of us millennials scroll Instagram on an hourly basis and got attracted to other people's Instagrammable perfect shots and feel down and demotivated because our lives are not as glamorous as theirs. I used to do that a lot. I used to envious of other people's success and perfect life and want to be like them. I used to ask myself questions like, why my life is not like that? Why am I feeling so stuck in my life? Why my job is so boring? But sooner or later, through my husband, I start to develop patience. I start to realize that those people who I admire, they are not lucky. They put in hard work to be where they are now. So instead of asking myself why, I start to ask myself how. How do I get rid of my boring job? How do I eliminate the negative feeling in my life? How do I become one of the successful people in my eyes? 
This is really useful because by simply changing the way I question myself, it leads to a totally different result. Because when I keep asking myself why, I tend to explain the why by trying to think how unfair the world is, how lucky those people are. I tend to victimize myself in order to justify the question why am I not successful? By start asking how, it actually forced my brain to start searching for constructive answer and goes towards positive directions. How to be better in life? How do I live the life I want? How to do it? It actually leads to execution, which is a very very substantial step in order to achieve something. So, be patient and live our own life. The success of other people has no impact on us. It has nothing to do with us. Don't rush. One very inspired sentence that Gary Vee has shared, every second that you spend on thinking about what someone else has is taking away your time to create something for yourself. The third thing that I would like to tell my old self is that stop staying in your comfort zone and take out whatever challenges that are in front of you. I used to be someone who is so afraid of new challenges, new tasks, new ideas, whatever new things in life. My brain will automatically release some messages for me to keep myself away from all these new things because I just don't feel comfortable to deal with it. I'm afraid of height, I'm afraid of speed, I'm afraid of public speaking, I'm afraid of a lot of other things in life. I only want to do things that I feel comfortable doing it. Until one day, I read an inspirational article online about breakthrough in life. I've realized that if I only live once and I spend my life doing things that I have really know what is it about, travel to places that I have really know it inside out, wouldn't it be boring? Wouldn't I want to have some new breakthrough in life? From that moment onward, I decided to step out of it and expand my comfort zone. I'm on a mission to keep trying new things so that my comfort zone can become bigger and bigger. Um, from my personal experience, the toughest step to step out of a comfort zone is actually the moment that I need to decide I want to step out of it. To be honest, I am quite proud of myself on all the changes that I have made in 2019. I have been growing so much more compared to the past few years. And first half of 2019 is coming to an end. I'm excited to make second half of the year to be even more interesting. Although I have a lot more to share with you who are in your 20s right now, but I would like to keep this video short. Feel free to share with me your thoughts in the comment section below on things that you glad that you did in your 20s or things that you wish you would have done so. If you like my content, do click the subscribe button below and there will be a weekly video on every Sunday. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!